Hello, all of our fans from Soy San Antonio TV. Your boy Benji and Scott Borowski. We got a special, special show for you today. We want to thank, first of all, the Athenian ladies for having us out here at their practice. Basically, our show is going to be out here. We're going to give you an inside look as to how the ladies are out here practicing, what they're up to, how the routine goes. We'll be interviewing a couple of coaches. We're going to be interviewing a couple of the players. Um, we'll be trying to answer all your questions that you guys uh, have for us. If you have any questions for us, send it to us on Twitter. We will. We have all the staff. But let's get our show started. Scott, how are you doing today, man? I'm good. It's a uh, it's a beautiful evening here for soccer. Absolutely. The ladies uh, the ladies have been uh, already been on the pitch for about uh, almost say, an hour. Almost an hour already running around. Um, they, these girls, man, they practice from 8:30 to. Night. Three days a week. Three I believe. days a yeah, week. Three nights a week. Eight o'clock to ten. Three days a week. So, you have a team that's dedicated to the game, dedicated to the club, dedicated to the city. Um, let's talk about a little bit about uh, some of the players. I mean, I'm going through some of the names here, man. There, there's no way you can't love this team with with team members like you know last names Lochte, Papa, Diaz, Valdez, Hogan, man. These last, they're just epic. I love, I love how this team has come together. I've been watching them a couple of the practices, um, uh, following them on the pages and seeing what they're doing. Recently, they just came off a game this past Sunday with FC Dallas. Right, yeah. And the result there was a 2-0 um, loss, but that's almost like a victory. I mean, from what I've heard, that club has been together for a long time. Those girls have been playing together for quite a while, so that's an impressive victory in a sense. And it's, and it's I mean, it goes... We can't really dwell on it, but it is FC Dallas. Right. It is one of the most, basically, one of the elite training academies, training academies in the world. Yeah. You know, well, our very own, switching gears here, our very own Devin Vega was at the youth academy there. Stole away. So they have the opportunity to oper the opportunity to just recruit yeah. young ladies from all over. All over, yeah. Not and just the local area. No, and then we have our girls, the Athenians show up on a Sunday really not really having played a game. Right, you and know? a lot of the girls still can't practice together because they play collegiate, so they're not eligible under UIL rules, so... There's a, there's a youngster, Leslie, 15 years of age, who's playing uh, with Lone Star, and she's she can't be here, but we, despite all of that and the work that they put into this club, it's so it was so impressive to me to see them go uh, up to Dallas, travel yeah. as a team, not really having their main players and coming out with just, you know, a 2-0, it might sound like a loss, but to me it's a gain considering yeah. if you've ever played football uh, or soccer, you know, you're going up against a team that's basically been practicing day in and day out. And the ladies go in there and held them 2-0. to zero. Well, and I think you learn a lot, too, in those games. You know, you, you, you learn sometimes more in your defeats than you do in your oh, victories. No, you know? and, that, and, that's, and that, goes, that, that goes without saying. I mean, I've, uh, you know, I've reached out to a couple of them, and, you know, they're, all they could say, each one of them, is it's a learning experience. It's yeah. a learning experience. I can't wait for the season. I learned how to play with the team. And you get to know how to play with the team. I think uh, the, their coach, uh, they're, be, they're being coached by Coach Augie Mendez. You'll get to meet him here in a little bit. Awesome guy. Yeah. Um, actually, coached in the army, uh, the soccer team in the army, and did a phenomenal job wow. there with him. He's he's got a you know long resume. repertoire. Yeah, yeah, long resume. He'll come out here. He'll join us here in a little bit. And their assistant coach is uh, I cannot say her name, but we're just gonna call her Vita for right now. <laughs> Ms. Vita, she's gonna come out here and she's gonna get to talk to you again. Ms. Vita is impressive. If you can see us behind. If you can see a little bit behind, uh, we're going to have uh, our crew here zoom in a little bit on the ladies. Um, you'll see them. You can hear us talking. Let's just keep it there for now, Chris. And you'll see them warming up, getting all their, their gears going here. But Some shots on goal, hopefully. Yeah, we'll like get to see bit. them. Yeah, so this is basically the Athenians, uh, San Antonio Athenians Soccer Club, your new semi-professional uh, women's team here in San Antonio. Now, I don't know about you, uh, Scott, but I've been trying to do my research about San Antonio, and I have not, and, you know, Twitter family, Facebook family, Instagram family, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we've ever had a professional women's, and I'll call them professionals, even though they play in the, uh, in the, in the, um, in the uh, TPSL here, uh, 
we've never had at this level. Right. All our girls, you know, have right. gone out and played club, club collegiate, collegiate college at Baylor, at mm -hmm. UTSA, and you know, they've moved on. Right. And now we have an opportunity to witness an amazing season. Absolutely. So what, what an, you, an inaugural season. An yeah. inaugural season. Yeah. What I mean, what do you think about that? You know, I mean, I mean as, as a father of a five-year-old daughter, I just have to say that it's it's really an inspiration right. to me what these girls are doing and stuff because it sets the pa pathway for you know what girls growing up can now hope to achieve. You yeah, know? and uh, you know, you're right. And the vision I think that the owners and the the the, the staff have is exactly that. We are the pioneers of of soccer in san antonio for women right you know and t tell us a little bit we got to follow texas high school soccer a lot at post uh but i was really impressed with the quality of play on both sides of the men's side but you know watching you know uh the local teams from around san antonio like lee making playoffs the women's yeah. the women's team Steel, at lee right steel made it straight into region six right. winning area championship uh, our neighbors to the north, Bernie Champion and Bernie, yep. going all the way to state finals. Right. These are, you know, this is talent in San Antonio that I believe has gone untapped. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, the, uh, the local talent here is amazing. I mean, you just look at how many of these players aren't here tonight because they're playing collegiate soccer somewhere else, you know, and it's an obvious indicator of the uh, talent and just women's soccer in general here in the United States. Yeah, let's, you know? let's, let's talk a little <laughs> bit about that because a lot of people get they get on me you know for having my you know strong opinions sometimes but i let's face it scott women's professional soccer in america or women's soccer in america you can say it's a difference between oh it's that's guys and that's girls but let's face it we are the top in the world yeah who's had more success who's had more success and that's what you want to look at in the long run it's this whole gender boy yeah. versus girl is yeah that's, that's irrelevant gone. Yeah. irrelevant i yeah. mean our ladies have that's kind of how many world cup wins again three right. you know and we've developed legends Mia right Ham, you know going back to the 99ers going back to the 90s when they won the first world cup so with that being said i see the athenians being at that level yeah well it's it's a great it's it's a stepping stone even if not you know what i mean it, it's a path in order to try and achieve something far greater that might not have existed before they came around i mean know? just look at this i mean they started off uh they initially i think they started off with 18 signings i think and now they have a full roster of 32 32 yes 32 i mean as and they started i believe it was back in january when you guys started when they started doing all their work um, what I'm going to do here, what we're going to do here in a little bit, I want to bring in one of the one of the co-owners, and she actually does all the uh, merchandising for 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 them, Miss Sue, yeah, the, our English lady. That's, she knows a lot more than we do. So, yeah, she does. so Miss Sue, come on over. Let's introduce you. This young lady, you can have right here, right in the middle. She has been at the forefront. We want you to know right now that she, you know what, your work what you've been doing is just amazing. Well, we appreciate you guys coming out and um, taking the time to talk to us about it. Uh, Pete Veras, my co-owner, and I are both passionate about the game, and we're just amazed at how um, the traction that we've got and the interest that we've got from the community in general. It's awesome. been awesome. Nice. So just to give our a public just of a brief history, how did, how did this happen? You know, where did, where did you and Pete just sit down and say, you know what? We we need a women's team. Well, Pete has previously owned uh, an NPSL team, the Correct. Corinthians, and he wanted to. Um, we had talked about um, potentially doing something together, and um, he said, "Well, what? You know, we already have so men's soccer teams here in San Antonio. Why don't we? Um, what about a WPSL team?" And I mean, I was very interested in that, and uh, we talked about it, talked about it, and then finally we pulled the trigger and said, "Let's." jump off the cliff <laughs> which we did and so basically here we are I mean we started we started probably last August talking about it we agreed to do it and signed the deal probably in uh, the franchise with them probably in November okay. and then we had tryouts in December January and Correct. March and then we had our first signing we had our first signing at the end of January so that was exciting I remember following I remember the announcement right you know we're having you remember that yeah in December time frame yeah, yeah I remember time. the announcement we're having it's a coming yeah it's yeah. coming it's yeah. coming. Yeah. coming and then you you started putting out all these, you know, signings, and I'm and I'm sitting there. I'm like, these girls are all San Antonio talent. Yes, and, that, and one of our goals is to develop and train 
San Antonio players and talent and showcase them and allow them to be able to um, play at the next level so the, the high school girls get to play with college players and the college players get to play with semi-professional players and professional players. Sweet. So about the league we're playing in, just, yes. to, give, just to give our viewers an idea, if they don't know where it's been, how long has that league been around? The WPSL. The WPSL. Um, and uh, what, what it, well, are we doing any national stage? Are we staying local? or what? What's, tell us a little bit more about the so WPSL. So basically, the WPSL is the largest women's league, I think, in the world. They have over 100 teams across the United States. Um, we're, we're actually playing in the Southwest Conference, and I think they split it up this year. It used to include FC Dallas this year. They've broken it up. And so um, we'll be, we're playing uh, Austin teams, Houston teams. Our furthest is Shreveport, Louisiana. Oh, wow. um, and, there, and then there's a playoff. The, this season, we have a total of 13 games. The season uh, starts May 18th in, uh, here uh, in San Antonio. We're playing Shreveport and goes through July, July 2nd. Nice. So the Women's Professional Soccer League, correct? Yes. Um, the, women's so. the Women's Professional Soccer League, um, I started doing a little bit of uh, background on what they actually do. Man, the talent level they got there is ridiculous. They I mean, do, and I think different teams uh, play at different levels. Yeah. You know, the, some of the teams will recruit from all over the place and have you know people from outside of their city. Um, and like, we've pretty much tried to stay within our, our own community market and build that. That's awesome. That. Well, honestly, Scott, I don't even personally I don't think you should be going. I think you did an opposite. Yeah, I had need yeah. to to look out. I mean, yeah, clearly we haven't. I mean, uh, you know, we have a, we still have yet to play our first competitive uh, league game, but um, you know, we've been very happy with the the level of players that have tried out and the level of players we've been able to recruit. Wow. I mean, this this just goes to show that this is a special season, in my opinion, and, and we're we're glad. We're thank you so much for having Soy Saf. Follow you all season long. Absolutely, you're going to be updated. Everything the Athenians do, you'll see. We'll be at the games. We will be, you know, doing some uh, more more live uh, coverage with them. Articles. So articles, articles San Antonio watch for them because if you want to know everything about them, trust me, we're we're going to do our best to keep everybody informed. Because I think what we want to do is uh, we we love what you're doing. Honestly, it starts at the top. Right. It always starts at the top, and when. When we started seeing what you guys were doing, how you guys were coming together, and, and you know, Scott, you said it, you you got a little girl, Miss Laney. Yeah, yeah. You know, how awesome would it be they establish? Yeah. Who ten knows? Years ten now, years from now, years you'll from see. Now. Well, and you know, I um, I have a son who plays soccer, and I I've, I've seen a significant growth in the number of girls that are playing. At, yeah. You know, at young 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 age group, you know, seven eight year old girls who, I mean, when we go out to practice, half of the fields are, are yeah. girls, and so mm -hmm. you know, this is a great opportunity to build role models in the community for them, and absolutely um, have somewhere for them to go out and watch games and be inspired by competitive women athletes. Yeah, I was sharing that with my wife tonight actually before we came out here. That's one of the things that I just think is so neat is you know I take Delaney to the San Antonio FC games, but for her to get to go out and see girls playing soccer, you know, right. I know that soccer is not just for boys. You know, yeah. I think that helps with the esteem a lot. It is. It's a new age. It's it a is. new age in San Antonio. Uh, beginning of the first, the first game of the season is going to be May, May 18th. 18th, correct. Yes. Now they will it's have a, a go it, ahead. It's a Thursday night um, game against Shreveport, and, that, and all of our games are going to be played at Blossom. Blossom. So. Um, if you don't know where that's at, simply go right off Wurzbach. It's up. It's what two, three miles down from yeah, SAFC Stadium. Bitters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, so we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. have the location up to. To where you are to on our page and we'll definitely when that when that day comes um before that though you got two games that caught my eye cinco de mayo yep. so yes. i'm excited about that and one. that one's free and that one's free so <laughs> no come excuses. out no excuses come out you are playing the austin elite austin yes. elite so that's huge that'll be 8 p.m kickoff also at blossom the event's free come on out come support your local girls you can see the banner here on our uh, page right now yeah, Austin and the, I think after what we saw in FC Dallas, if we can contend with a team like that, yep. I'm not trying to diminish no, I anybody. I appreciate you saying that. But, yeah, but it's, right? yeah, it's a, yeah, it's not a, it's not a league game, but um, we're, you know, it's a preseason game. And so we're very excited to host Trust them out here. Games. And then yeah. three days later, yes, in May 8th, they, they're hosting. May 13th. May 13th, 13th. I'm sorry. And then on May 13th, they're going to host a juggernaut of a football club 
in Liga MX, none other than Los Tuzos of Pachuca. How did that happen? Uh, we had connections with um, some contacts uh, who have um, uh, people who played with them, and the connections, they started having a conversation about this the first year that they had a women's league, and uh, that, that it'd be really cool for us to play them. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if, if enough people want it to happen, it'll happen. And it's so cool. we I'm excited. To make that happen. And so we're very excited about it. No, I'm excited. I, I'm sorry. I was thinking too much. I was already, I was already, <laughs> already role there. playing the game already in my mind, and I jumped in. <laughs> What's I'm the sorry. final score, Benji? You're going to get the final <laughs> you know what? I don't know. I'm not going to do the final scores because I'm just, you know what? That, that's something huge. That, And honestly, that's something that's very much needed. We focus so much on men's soccer. And it's, you know, they're established. But the fact that we actually, I, and, I, and I keep saying it, the fact that we actually have a women's professional soccer team in San Antonio speaks volumes. And if if you ever wonder, you know, why why a women's uh, professional team, semi-pro uh, team in San Antonio, just go out to the rec games, go out to the high school games. The talent there is just incredible. Yes. And I honestly think we're sitting... Maybe and maybe not this generation, but the generations that come, we might be sitting in on some couple future women national that team would be players. So great. And yes. that's you know yeah. that's the goal, that's the vision that, that that you guys that you folks have at Affinity. We do, and you know it's about building something that um, has longevity. Um, we're trying to. Uh, this is you only get one you know your year, and so sure. this is an important year for us. But we're trying to build you know a brand and an identity and a team that you know has. Has, uh, will be around. Now, we do have a question. How did the name Athenians come about? Okay, so uh, we were looking for a name that reflected um, strength and not necessarily power, but a, str a strong role model. And Athena is the Greek goddess of power and wisdom. She was also a defender of her city, Athens. Ooh. So oh, nice. it just was perfect. Yeah. And so, of the um, yeah, so we ended up with um, calling them the Athenians. You know, I like it. I do you know, so. the Alamo City is known as the defensive city. You there know. you go. That's true. Why not? Why not the yeah. Athenian that's defending true. our Purdue? That's awesome. Well, that's and you know, we, we have SAFC. We have teams that are, you know, have already have the city name. And so right. we Correct. had to come up with something that New. we could create our own identity. And we can create a pretty nice identity around the Athenians. So. Well, that, you know what, dude, I'm excited. Uh, Masu, thanks so much for sharing you're some welcome, stuff with us. I, I, we're excited to just see how this is going to grow. Where is this going to go? Um, excited for the first matches, even though there's scrimmages, but the home opener. Come out, let's pack Blossom. Let's yes. show, be awesome. let's show San Antonio, let's show our lady warriors of the pitch, not just the Athenians, but all our lady, represent all our girl soccer players from all the city. Come out, watch them. Ticket information. So tickets are available online. We have a website, um, saathenianssc.com. You can download tickets. Uh, you can pay online through PayPal and order online. Um, or on our Facebook page, you can also get tickets. Uh, there's, the, there's a phone number if you want to call and arrange to meet us. Uh, we, we're doing group ticket programs. So if you have a club or a group that you want, like the group of 20 or 30 people you want to arrange to come out and watch a game, uh, the phone numbers are on our Facebook page. You can call. Um, they're pretty freely available. Sweet. So, hey, no excuses. Yep. I'm pretty sure, yeah, well, I'm not going to lie. I'm basically going to get mine here real soon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to get the. I know I get medium passes and stuff, but you know what, dude? I'm paying to go to these games. Um, but Sue, thank you so much for You're taking welcome. the time and sharing about your our team, yeah. our new team here. And you know what? You guys got something special. We're going to be rooting for you guys all season long. I know San Antonio is going to respond in a huge way. Um, there's nothing better than having two equal professional teams. Absolutely. I mean, especially in our day and age. I love. I like. I like that Broadway. Anything you can do, I can do better. <laughs> it, it's. I love it. So um, it's going to be a long season, but there's a lot of football. And you're not watching the SAFC, go on out and watch out the Athenians. You know, that's, that's one thing I noticed, too, is I've already kind of compared the schedules a little bit. It seems like, you know, when SAFC is away, that's when you guys are right. kind of playing on the stage. I, I, I want to say there's only like maybe one, one or two, two games. Yes. Yeah. They're really yeah. conflict. Yes. Yeah. So there's, there's no reason why you can't support both. Yeah. That, that would be great. And we're really excited for the season to start. We're just waiting for uh, our first game. Nice. Well, come on out. 
Don't be afraid to say Adam is too. She's so approachable. And yes, the English accent is real. And she is from Manchester. Manchester. And who do you follow in BPL? I'm a red for life. A Liverpool red. Liverpool for red life. for life. So she's one of mine. <laughs> Misu, thank you so much You're for welcome. your time. Thank you so yes, much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank so you. we're going to move on. We're going to get to know some of our players. we got a couple really cool uh, athletes out here that we want you to get to know. We're going to yeah. try to get out here with Miss Kelly and uh, with, with Miss Kelly Lochte. We're going to try to see you know, a little bit. We're going to get here with Miss Kelly Lochte. Kelly actually has a sister that plays alongside her um, here on the same team. So you also have that connection. So um, Kelly Lochte. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna talk here. Just wait for us. We're gonna go grab Miss Kelly. But, dude, what did you think about that with Miss Sue? I mean, so much insight. I mean, it's just so good to be able to sit down and talk with someone and see what the passion is and see what the dream is and get all the information. And I'm really excited, dude. That was Scott. I mean, I'm sorry to tell you, I'm like, wow. <laughs> you know, I, I'm so ready for the season, and I'm not trying to hype it up. But you know what? Getting all that inside information as to who they are what they're all about, what their vision is. Dude, that's got me excited. Yeah. You know, I cannot wait. I can just home open or I can just, en I can just envision it. You know, all just packing up that blossom yep. and just a sea of purple. Yeah. You know, they, they've already had a couple, um, one of my favorite fans, and I love her, and I'm gonna mention her, is Jenny Chick. She follows the Athenians. Yes. And she is awesome. Super fan. So she's a super fan. They're, they're season ticket holders. And this, my friends, come on in. It's Miss <laughs> Kelly Lochte. How are you, ma'am? Good. How Thank are you? Thank you for joining us. Of course. I've met you, Mr. Scott Hi. here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So let's just make this quick and simple. Okay. Tell us about yourself. Where are you from? What position do you play? How did you end up here? Um, so I'm from New Braunfels, Texas. Hey. I, <laughs> I went to Texas Lutheran, so I graduated last year. And I play center mid so I kind of heard about tryouts found out about everything and I was like yeah I'm ready to go ready to compete again so it was nice. a cool opportunity to be a part of nice so see the experience is not just uh, so I'm assuming you went to New Braunfels High or what high I was school? actually homeschooled oh, no I would have gone to Navarro which is actually towards the game Whoa, look at that so we have that's yeah. see that's the whole <laughs> see Picture. that's the beauty of it and and so tell us a little bit about your Texas Lutheran career I mean, how long did you play there? Or? Um, I played all four years there. Nice. Um, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a good experience. I also ran track there, so I kind of had the best of both worlds. Got to play uh, two sports, two different seasons, so that was fun, kind of balancing that. Um, but I really enjoyed playing soccer. Each year, I kind of got more competitive and more into it. So when I was gra when I graduated, I really wasn't ready to be done yeah, playing please. soccer. Yeah. yeah. It's like, okay, what next opportunities are there for me? So this is awesome. To be so this, this, the Athenians just all of a sudden just It just your landed. Life. Yeah, it was awesome. Sweet, and Great you took it. Um, did you, did you, I mean, think, I mean, just moving a little bit forward from uh, from Lutheran, tell me, where, how did you feel when you first tried out? What were your emotions going through that whole tryout process, making the team, playing on the team now, and having the team that you have? I mean, take guide me through that development stage. Okay. Um, so starting out, I had no idea what to expect coming out here. I knew there are a lot of girls in the area um, that would be interested in something like this. So when I came out here, I was kind of like pretty nervous because um, yeah. I didn't know what to expect, but I just gave my all. Um, came out here to that tryout, and when I heard my name called, like it was such a relieving, like awesome feeling um, to know that I'd be a part of this program and be able to represent San Antonio. Um, moving forward, it's been fun just being able to practice, get to know all the girls, um, getting to play, and just... Like I said, getting to represent San Antonio just means a lot to me. Um, I really take pride in that. So It's evident. I mean, from what we've been seeing, especially at the FC Dallas game, I mean, you girls weren't going to give up down there. <laughs> no, <laughs> we weren't, weren't going to give up well, well, that, 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 that smile yeah. says, it a, says a lot. Tell me about that game. I mean, It was intense. I mean, um, I think we were even expecting it to be even more uh, yeah. just crazy, like a difference in play. and. We really hung in there with them and gave it our all, and I mean, it was pretty even battle um, going forth. I think even if we get the opportunity to play them again, we'll even be so much better. Um, just knowing their style of play, knowing how they play, like I think we're just. And then when those college girls come in, I think yeah. we're gonna have a good shot at them if we get to um, have the opportunity to play them again. And, and that, like that so. and that's a good, uh, that's a good point that Kelly brings up. You know, you, you are operating without some of your college players, right? And I mean incorporate those in here Scott 
I mean, think about it. Yeah, how much better, how much better the talent gets. I'm, you know, in the w, in the WPSL, I'm I'm expecting. Yeah, I'm, honestly, I'm expecting you girls to go far. Seriously, after what being, I mean, I've been watching you guys practice, you ladies practice, and man, I'm thinking to myself, how how in the world? It just happened, you know, and how you girls yeah. came, and like you were talking about that chemistry. Talk to me about that. Tell me, after after this FC Dallas game, and I know it's a lot of learning, what did you learn personally about yourself, and what did you learn about this team overall? Um, I think a big learning thing was that, hey, we really have a chance in this. You know, they're, I think, number four in the league, which is yeah. to go up against a team like that and to only come out 2-0, um, knowing that we could have held them, you know, nil nil was it's just awesome. Um, I think that just built us so much more together, build our confidence in each other. Um, and just having that experience and having that trip and going up there really kind of brought us closer together as well. So uh, going forward, like that really just told me, okay, like we can play with the best. I can play with the best. And um, it just really sets our season out to be like, okay, we have that confidence to play with any team out there. Man. So did y'all take a bus up there or how did y'all travel? Um, we traveled in vans. Oh, okay. We so there was a lot of team building though in that. There was, to, yes. Oh, imagine, definitely. It's a good five hour trip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice long trip to get to know each other. So that was, that was fun. It's, it's funny because when they were out here jogging, I could I could just time in because I, I missed that team chatter. Mm -hmm. And I could just hear you girls just out there, you know, challenging. Even little jogs around here like, hey, you know, what's going on? Check, keep it up. So yeah. that says a lot about your unity, I mean, already, that you girls, I believe, from what we've seen, Scott, so far, they're just one unit. And it's, I think the most impressive thing with that is a lot of us have never played with each other before, so right. coming out here and being able to mesh a lot of different styles, a lot of different players, different ages, um, I think we've done a really good job at playing, like, as a unit. Um, yeah, because so. a lot of y'all are training kind of on your own, right? If you're in college or the club, right. you're training there, you know, and then you got to kind of come together and bring it mm -hmm. all together. Exactly, and play under the system that our coaches want us to play. So it's just like a lot of different things and then just putting in the melting pot. But I think we're really doing a good job with that, and I think it's just going to build and go from there. So it's nice. pretty exciting. Now, yeah. talking about, you mentioned the coaching. Tell me a little bit about Coach Augie and how he's been able to just piece it put the pieces together to just keep the girls in tune to each other. I mean, what have you learned from him? He's a man with so much experience. He is. Um, he's been really thorough with us. Just, you know, fundamentals, fundamentals, passing, you know, working on the things. He identifies the things that we struggle with. And then, you know, once we identify that, we spend the next practice just working on that, whether it's shooting, whether it's passing, first touch, and just kind of hammering it, hammering it uh, over and over. And I think we're kind of starting to understand that. And just the system we're playing is a little different. Um, and I think a lot of us have played. We play at 3-4-3. And so um, I know that's different for uh, a lot of players yeah, out here. Right. Different than what I'm used to. So. <laughs> I was sitting there I was trying. I was like, wait a second, 3-4-3. Yeah, yeah. So how's that, you know? It's been, good. it's been getting better. At first, I think we were a little bit lost. We didn't really know how to make it work. But I think the more scrimmages, the more play, um, we've just been picking it up a lot better. So uh, Sweet. it's definitely working. Yeah. Well, you know what, Ms. Kelly, we're going to be rooting on for you. I'm pretty Thank sure you. you got a knack for the goal. <laughs> We've seen, I've seen a couple strikes back there. I'm like, goodness gracious, one's got a boot. <laughs> Before we go, favorite team, NMLS. Hmm. Hmm. Galaxy. Galaxy, yeah. okay, okay. You know. Favorite soccer player, male and female. Lionel Messi for sure. Ah, <laughs> the beauty of Lionel <laughs> Messi. Too beautiful. Uh, yeah. Female. Ooh. Um. You know, I'd say Marta from Brazil. She's no kidding. She's uh, something else. Like, yeah, she's, she's just fast. Yeah. Fast <laughs> and she's just after flashy. it. And it's like watching her. It's just flashy. like, how are you human? It's, yeah. it's crazy. Uh, last question. Um, tell me about your goal for this team? Do you have a personal goal that you've set yourself for? Um, for me, I just want to see myself continue to get better. Um, I want to see myself get better on my right and left foot to be able to be a big dexterous, uh, moving forward. And I really just want to be a leader out there for some of the younger ones and even the older ones and just kind of set a really good example. Um, and just being able to compete and get play time on the field, that's my nice. ultimate goal. So. Awesome. I almost forgot. She's got a sister. Yes. That plays with you. I do. You do, I right? Do, yeah. Is she older or younger? She's younger. Oh, yeah. so there, is there that? Um, so we really haven't experienced that yet because she's okay. still in college. That's but, right. So coming up, we'll get to see how that kind of plays out. But I bet we you get along pretty well, and we have a really similar uh, style of play, and we play the same position. Oh so. man, 
So this that'll be fun to throw in there. A Lochte battle. So exactly. Lochtes, if you're out there at the games, I will definitely be asking you a question. Who's, who's your favorite? I'm kidding. I won't do that. <laughs> but Miss Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you. We're gonna be cheering you on all season long. Thank you so much. You've already made San Antonio proud, and like I've said before, you're a pioneer. The girls are gonna look up to you. They're gonna talk about you, ladies, for generations to come. So we're absolutely proud of you. We wish you the best, and we cannot wait to see you on the pitch. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Kelly. Thank She's you. She's going to go Thank back out much. there. Thank and uh, What we want to do um, next is we're going to bring in one of their coaches. I don't know how to say her name, last name, but her first name is Vita. <laughs> She's going to tell you exactly um, what she does and what she's focusing on. Uh, dude, Kelly Lochte. Yeah, great girl. Yeah, I, I see Yeah, I see a lot of, you know, she's just one of the, of the many stories right. that this team has. Right. You know, and it, it's awesome to hear her, you know, talk about her being homeschooled yeah. from New Braunfels, then going on to Texas Lutheran. Wondering what she was going to do after that. Didn't want to hang up the cleats. Wanted to take it to that next level. And then boom, here we are. Yeah. You know, in a, in a purple jersey and just, you know, doing amazing things. And uh, so we're going to bring in uh, Ms. Vita and... She'll say her last name for us. Yeah, she'll say her last <laughs> name for us. Uh, she's, she's awesome. She's, uh, she's very impressive. She's, uh, when she was out here on the pitch, she was, uh, she was uh, basically almost about to run the other way because I was like, wait, I'm not on the team. Don't yell at me. But, no, her style of coaching is, is really, really interesting. I mean, uh, you can tell that she's kind of – she's more like that um, – Vocal. Vocal. Yeah, it's awesome. That's what's what's much needed in, yeah, in yeah. a game. If you can't really, if you can't as a coach, can't really vocalize yourself as what you want to, you know, ask your players to do, then, you know, what, what in the world is like? So, Ms. Vita, come on Hi. in. So, big question. How in the world do you say your last name? <laughs> Mohagic 4. What? Huh? Mohagic 4. Mohagic 4. What there you is go. it? Uh, it's uh, Iranian, Persian. Hey, look at that. The diversity, again, of this Absolutely. team is beautiful. Tell us about yourself. Um, I'm an ex-player, um, and I live now in the San Antonio area, and I was very interested in uh, women's soccer and making sure that we have opportunities for um, ladies that, that, that want to continue to play um, and want to play at a high level. Um, and when I found out that um, the Finians were doing this, I got right on board as soon as it's been a really, really fun ride so far, and we've only got the rest of the season ahead of us. So yeah, so it's gonna be fun. You can see the passion just from the players to the coaches. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. So That's awesome. Give us a little bit about your uh, soccer background. Um, well, I play. I grew up in Chicago. Okay. Uh, played premier soccer there, Chicago Soccer's. Um, played ODP. Uh, wow. Went to uh, went to play uh, D two soccer at Grand Valley State. Nice. Um, okay. And then I had an opportunity to go overseas and start playing. So um, I kind of you know, forewent my, my my sophomore, junior, senior year, and I went overseas and, and played for a couple of years, and then just injuries and stuff like that yeah. sidelined me, but still love the game, so yeah. I still stay. I mean, I'm playing today, so, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I try to stay uh, as involved as, as possible. I haven't hung up those feet No, yet. no, no, I can't quite quite put myself to do it yet, but yeah. Nice, so. <laughs> Moving, from, I mean, I see that you're. I love the fact that you're like a player coach. Yeah, it's in you. You can tell. Yeah. What is your role with the Athenians? I mean, what is, what is your focus with these ladies? Um, I think right now I've kind of become like you're saying, just their um, their voice. Mm -hmm. um, just you know, whatever they need, whatever questions they have, um, they know they can come to me um, to kind of you know facilitate whatever they need. So so right now it's supporting Coach Agi, making sure that you know he has what he needs to to, to make the team you know, a, a well oiled machine and then making sure that the girls have what they need the ladies so that they can, you know, perform to their top ability. I mean, that's what we want every day is 110% every day, every player on that field. So as long as we can facilitate that, provide that environment for them, my job is good. So Beautiful. Awesome. Now let's talk a little bit about the FC Dallas game. Yeah. We keep going back to yeah. that because, again, this is <laughs> FC Dallas. I don't yeah, think, yeah. and I, I, I'm going to emphasize this is, this is in a, a, a the training ground right. for, and in my opinion, U.S. soccer players, both men and women. Right. And you ladies went to their home. Yeah. Held them to 2-0. Yeah. Um, and and <laughs> I don't know if, I don't know, maybe you've already discussed this, but, you know, they're top, top four team um, in the nation in the WPSL. So, yeah. um, you know, they're, they're very good. Um, and we were, we were very ha happy with, with, 
the way that we performed. Um, you know, we held them 0-0 in the second half. Oh, wow. And both, yeah, so both goals were, weren't even, you know, uh, more, more, you know, something that we did to allow that, like yeah, that we did. allowed them to score right. rather than, you know, them just having a good combo pay, player. Yeah, exactly. So we're happy with it. I mean, everything, you know, of course, there's there's things we need to work. Of yeah, course. Absolutely. I mean, those, I mean, absolutely. yeah, really, really early. Um, we still got players coming in too. So, um, but we'll get through all those things. But yeah, it's a really positive, positive sign of the way we played. So. The hype is real. Yeah. I mean, if, to go in there, in my opinion. You know, we got a question, you know, what's the big deal about playing Dallas? Is that, as you heard, Miss Kelly heard, Miss Sue, uh, you're, you're listening to Vita. This is a team that came out of just nowhere. Yeah, they literally. They just came out yeah. of nowhere. Like I said, high school ladies, college girls that cannot play with the team yet. They had to go to Dallas in Vance and figure out how to go up against a number four team. Yeah. And who's try not. Who's for a long time. Yeah, who, who, who can pick and players from all over the nation. Yeah. And again, and you show up. Tell me, guide me through those goals. I mean, how did you keep your girls engaged? Um, you know, a lot of it was, you know, I, f I feel like we somewhat, you know, the, the way that you're saying, I mean, the FC Dallas is really good. Everyone knows that. Yeah. Um, so we, when we went into it, I think we were a little bit hesitant. We were like, hey, we're going to let them kind of, you know, give give us what they got. And when we realized finally that you know, we've got just as much as they have, you know, we started to finally play. Sweet, yeah. So that's why that first half, we kind of, I think we, we, we let them do what they wanted to. But once by halftime, you know, when we talked to them and we realized, man, we can take it to them. So that's why second half, we didn't allow, you know, we, we held them. So um, I think it was just, you know, working through the little kinks and stuff like that, that, you know, comes with, we'd never seen them. Before. Yeah, correct. So, you know, it's just working through that kind of stuff. And, I think a little bit too, you know, not excuses, but just working through the turf stuff and the yeah. different field and, you know, but just, yeah, I mean, it, it, all in all though, we were really happy with it. Really, really happy with it. So it's just, now, that. moving into the season, WPSL mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. I know for every team that's inaugural season, they just want to have a decent season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have that impression from this team, Scott. No. I don't no. think that's an option. <laughs> and, and, and I hate going back and forth and comparing, but. You, you ladies remind me so much of our current SAFC team right now. Yes. You know, we went off from last year barely making, missing short out on the off season, Short off season, picking up players from who knows where. Right. Uh, coach, Trying to put something together. Yeah, yeah, Tim Holt and Coach Powell and the staff just finding somewhere, loaning players from England to barely missing the playoffs. Their, their goal was to make playoffs last right. year. Well, you know what? The Athenians, your spirit right now, your goal, your your mindset is to move on. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're definitely on a high right now. We're definitely, you know, excited right now. We're gonna bring in a lot of energy into these first. I mean, the, the whole season. I mean, we're just everyone's just excited to get going and get get the season started. So I think we'll bring a lot of intensity. We'll bring a lot of energy. Um, we'll bring a lot of running to the game. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's that's the way we play. So um, and, and the goals will come. The, the wins will come. That that stuff will come. But. We're just really excited to get out there and represent San Antonio um, big time. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Coach Vita, thank you so much. Of course, thanks for having me. Again, the dedication to club, to the city, to this team, to the future. <laughs> and again, and I, like I said to Miss Kelly, thank you for just being a pioneer. Of course, You're living thanks in for the vision. You, yeah. you ladies are at the forefront of what San Antonio women's, uh, women's Appreciate you, it. you know. Yeah. Coach, Come thank on. you so much. Come on, see, we'll see you. Yeah. We'll see you on Come out, see support the ladies. Bye -bye. She's gonna go out there, give them a big old running more. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's just that's just you know part of what this team has to offer. Absolutely. Yeah, like I say, on every level, whether it's the ownership, whether it's the coaches, whether it's the players, you know, the the, the motto behind Athenians, you know, you, you see it in just these few interviews. Yeah, I mean, it is. We've only gone through just three, and I know we're running a little bit out of time. And we're coming up to our last uh, interview with a very special I individual that, you know, everybody's like, ooh, if you're going out there, make sure you get, we want to get to know her a little bit more. And we'll get into that in a little bit. But, um, yeah, it's a little teaser. <laughs> and if you're watching out in the West Coast, I yeah, hope, I stay hope, tuned. stay tuned uh, to you that's watching in the West Coast, hopefully. Um, but no, um, dude, this coaching is just, sit, just talk, listen to Coach Vita and just mm -hmm. watching her just guiding us through that FC Ga Dallas game, which yeah. again, I'll be honest with you, I, when they, when the Sioux told me, hey, we're going to go play FC Dallas, all due respect, I said, goodness gracious, this is a team that just came out of nowhere, we're going to get rocked. Yeah. 
And then when I find out the results were, and I start seeing what the charts, the stats charts were, yeah. I'm like, what in the world? You know, yeah. we got a team here. Yeah. We got a team. And, and that's not even with the core. No, I mean, there's a no, group not of at all. Still missing from that. So. Let's and let's let's bring on our, our last guest. Without further ado, I want you to know, I think there's going to be a lot of goals coming from this one. I see it. Uh, there's an Instagram video that, that there's around. It's, it's of her. She goes around two or three players, jukes some. One of them goes flying one way, cuts back and scores the goal and just trots off. And I, I, I had the guts of saying, you know what, as a guy, she'll probably do that to me twice. <laughs> Watch me, pick me up, and tell me to go back so she can do it again. Yeah. <laughs> She's that <said>, good. <laughs> Miss Michelle Hogan, come on over. How you doing, Miss? Good. How nice are to you? meet you. Benjamin Scott, Scott here. Nice to meet you. Michelle Hogan, in my opinion, one of the core players of this team. Thank you well, for thank being you. part of Nathanian. Oh, hey, thanks for uh, having me. The, the, the talent that you have is unreal. Well, thank Seriously, you. Seriously, I that mean. That means a lot. I, I, we've seen, if you don't have, uh, if you have Twitter, follow her on the Twitter. <laughs> she, uh, she, she's she got some really cool, cool skills out there that I, goodness gracious, I wish I had. Tell us a little about yourself, Michelle. Um, I grew up in California. I came out here. Um, I go to Texas State. Um, I haven't been, I took a, like two years off of soccer and I really wanted to get back in. Yeah. And um, so I saw that this team was having tryouts, so I decided to come out. I was real nervous, but it's been great. I've been having the time of my life. How's the how's the level? I know Texas State they have their they have the university team correct. Yes. It's not a club team. They got their own team. They have both. They have so, both. Okay, so I mean, going from Texas State, and I know you took a time off, and I can see just the passion for football, and you was just like, let me just put me on the pitch, coach. Yes. Uh, tell me about you know you, you're talking about being nervous. Why, what made you so nervous from going from that level of play to just? Well, I actually play on the club team at Texas okay. State. Okay. So I was playing there, and I mean. They're pretty, they were good. We had a good season, but coming out here, I mean, the girls are strong. Everybody's trying 100%, but everybody's really encouraging, which has helped a lot. Yeah. And um, it's a different level. It's a totally different level than what I was playing before. It's strong. It's intense. Everyone's going, you know, hard. Hard. As hard <laughs> as they can. I mean, we like, like right now, you can see the headers that are going in on goal. Everything is fast. It's real fast and it's intense. How you? How do you feel about? Did you make the trip up to Dallas? To I didn't. No, I you did not. Sick. Okay. But how did you feel about the team and the result? And again, they're missing. They're missing Michelle. They're missing about four or five other college players that yeah. they're that are not going to be joining probably till May. First. Um, but how did you? I mean, watching your teammates. How did you? What was your first reaction to that? I mean, how did you feel about that? I thought they did well. I thought they did really well. Um, I mean, they went out hard. They, I mean, nobody's, this is a new team and nobody's treating it like it's a new team. Everyone's treating it like, you know, we've been out here, we've been practicing, we've been here for years when we haven't. We've, we just started, we're just getting going, but I mean, everyone's coming together and everyone's working together and everyone's so encouraging and wants everyone to do so well that I'm just, I'm proud of that. I'm proud to be a part of the organization. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Uh, Position. What position do you play for the team? Um, I play right back, but I kind of move around a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Again, like I said, if you watch video of her, you, you'll see her all over the place. I mean, how do you tell me about how, how did this? How did you develop your skill? Where did this come from? Because I mean, you're you're really flashy. Oh, thank you. You really are, and it's. I mean, how did tell us a little bit about your upbringing? About, uh, development wise. Yeah. Well, so I like I said, I grew up in California and playing out there, and. I can give my skill all to this one coach that um, growing up he had clinics. It was just skill clinics. It was Mondays and Fridays, and they weren't necessarily mandatory, but if you wanted to play, you were going to go. Uh. So we all went, and I mean, that was starting in third grade. And he, it would be, you know, I was in third grade when I started to go, going there, and it would be having the high school kids were there too, and he treated everybody like you were the same. And so. I mean, he, it made us all feel really good, you know, being the little kids out there and we're trying really hard, but it just developed us really well on the ball, made me real comfortable and yeah. Nice. nice. So how do you how do you see yourself? I know the season hasn't started yet and we're giving all the previews. We're going to be bringing you almost every exclusive Athenian of news that we can bring you. But tell me, what is your personal goal? How do you see yourself moving forward? What do you want to learn? I mean, you've 
you're a young lady that's, that's got tons of experience, you know, just growing up, developing. You played at Texas State, club or university, it's Texas State. Yeah. You know, it's a different ball game. Now you're with the Athenians. I mean, what, what do you, what do you see? What do you want to get from all this? Uh, I just want to get to be the best that I can be. I want to come out every day and try my best and learn from the coaches. You know, each coach you train with gives you something, adds something to your game, and so that's what, what I'm looking for, just to develop further and learn as much as I can. Nice. So let's go through the little questions I asked Miss Kelly. Okay. You go first. Which one? I don't know. Whatever you want to ask. <laughs> <laughs> favorite team, favorite player. Oh, there you go. Okay, oh, okay, gosh. okay. Yeah, so, so, so who's your favorite international team? <laughs> No, you gotta get me with these questions right yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> well, you know, they, they, people want to know what their athletes like. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, I, I have to be biased right now. You're gonna, make, you're gonna make me have to say my favorite international player, Philly Forbes. Oh my <laughs> goodness, she went there. I didn't. I didn't, you didn't, didn't even have to go there. Didn't even have Philly Forbes. So, why? Because why Billy? You guys know why. I do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I, I was a, she I was stole all your biased. thunder, Benji. Yeah, she did. She, I was trying to get to it, but before it, I she already went out there. But no, if you guys don't understand, if you guys don't know by now, Miss Michelle is, you know, friends with a very special friend. So one of our favorite SAFC uh, players. You know, to, you know. Now that we brought it up, man, the guys, the guys on fire. He is. I am so proud. I love watching every game. I mean, after. Like last night we had practice. I got in my car. I drove. I didn't make it. I live in San Marcos. I went to his apartment and I got on my computer. And you know, I got to the game right at halftime, and he wasn't in anymore. But I did, you know, check my phone and see that he scored again. So I was really proud. So we, you know, it's, it's awesome. Again, this is just, you know, with Billy aside, and Billy, awesome job. We're so proud of you, you know, of what you're doing and, what, and how much you love our club, our city, your fans. I mean, it's awesome just to see, to have a player like him on our team back. Right. But just to have a guy who's just dedicated to club, city, and just football in general. But you know what, that goes to, she, you know, Michelle's a, an example of the, the diversity of this team. Yeah. You know, Texas State, we just met another young lady who was homeschooled, Lutheran. Lutheran. You know, um, Coach Vita and her experience. Yeah. Man, you, you have a of a team here you know it's and it's great. it's a great experience just so even being out here at the practice watching them do what they're doing i'm already i'm ready you know forget the preseason yeah <laughs> but that's, that's just we're all ready yeah so um <laughs> we're you know excited. what yeah you know and you know since we already you know we since we're already at this point you know i mean it's, it's, it's awesome just to see i'm just i'm dumbfounded about everything that you guys are doing i mean it, the pioneers the example you're going to be for the young ladies of this yeah. city Seriously, you, you're going to be like, you're going to be what they're going to be talking. Like I said earlier, they're going to be talking about you girls, generations to come, and you're you're at the forefront. And you know, yeah, Billy, Billy, Billy Forbes is the boyfriend. But yes. you know what? Without being put aside, these girls in their own right have really established themselves. So we're absolutely proud. We're honored for you to be playing with us. And I'm honored hints. to be here. You know, I am. This is unreal to me. It's great. Come, come out and support. I mean, we've got to know just a couple of the players. We'll be doing a lot more player bios uh, come up, coming up on uh, SoySanAntonioFootball.com on the English commentaries. Uh, Ms. Michelle, we'll leave it to you. Any last words you want to leave to the next generation? Really? To, <laughs> to the just, football culture? Uh, no, just San Antonio. Come, come see what we have. Come watch us. We'd love to see you there. <laughs> and you know what? I, I, I honestly believe that there will be a Sea of Purple come out for yeah. a home opener. Yeah. And Michelle, thank you so much for meeting meeting with us. Hey, thank it's you. It's an honor. It's It was fun. And uh, you know what? Let's we'll see you a lot more. Friday's yes, prediction. What we got Friday? Uh, with with uh, 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 I'm sorry. Maybe, yeah. Um, as in, I awesome. think we're going to... Oh, yeah, we're playing. Awesome. Okay, the next two teams. On <laughs> the 13th. The 13th. Yeah. Okay. It's, yes. Yeah, it's, it's all Sorry. starting. No, it's There's coming. so many. Um, yeah. I'm excited. I think we're going to do well. I think yeah. we're going to put it all on the field. It's going to be a battle, and I think we'll win. Yeah, yeah good. Awesome. She's predicting a win. I think they'll win, too. <laughs> That's what Michelle, we're going for every game. <laughs> we'll, we'll, get back. we'll let you get back to the practice. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. And it was a fun. Thank you so much. Nice you yeah, you too. Folks. Thank you so much for joining us today on Scott. I mean, your yeah, thoughts, dude. No, I mean, I, it's just, it's great. You know, I mean, it's, there's not a whole lot of information out there right now on them. So that's what we're hoping to do is put a lot more information for y'all out there. 
So it's just I'm really looking forward to getting to know some of these girls and getting to see what they can do. And, you know, we'll, we'll know a lot more here in a few weeks. Yeah, absolutely. We're definitely going to be showing up uh, when they play Austin. And we're definitely free May admission. Yeah, awesome. free admission. 8 p.m. Be yeah, there. we'll be there. And then against Pachuca. The 13th. Same kickoff, I believe, 8 o'clock. Also at Blossom. All the games are going to be played at Blossom. And then we'll have the season opener. It's season opener, on the dude. 18th. We're going to go there. We're going to make some noise. I'm excited. I know San Antonio is excited. I've, we've been talking to some of the fans. They're ready. Yeah. I mean, they're they're just itchy to get out there. Yeah. Uh, follow the Athenians on all the web uh, on Twitter. all the social medias. I mean, all you got to do is just put Athenians Soccer Club SC SC, and you, you'll find them. They'll pop up. They're all over. Um, any information you want, we'll be posting a lot of our ticket, inf- a lot of their information on our SoySanAntonioFootball.com. Folks from Soy Sa- Soy TV, thank you so much for joining us on this very special night. Uh, we're going to leave you for the next 10 minutes or so. We're just watching the game so you guys can get to see what the practice is going all about. And uh, Scott, thank you so much, yeah, no, dude. thank you. Excellent. It was a beautiful night for soccer. Yeah, absolutely. And folks, we'll see you out at Blossom home opener. May 18th. May 18th. 8 p.m. Yes, 8 p.m. Thank you so much. Have a good, wonderful night. We'll see you soon.